Hello there, my name is Peter Thompson and this is one of my top tip DVDs and this one is going to explain to you why the ball will go to the left if the ball is above your feet. In other words, the ball is higher than your feet on a slope. This golf club I made years ago, it's an old wooden head, I file the face down so there's zero loft and I use this all of the time to explain to people about lines and various things because the loft can make the ball go left or right if the ball is above or below your feet. This top has no loft at all and if I raise it you still can't see the stick because there is no loft. All golf clubs have loft. They have loft to get the ball in the air, obviously. Another of my short clubs. This one's a six iron with about 30 degrees of loft. And flat on the ground, the ball will go in the air but straight. Till I flat on the ground, ball will go in the air and straight. If the ball is above my feet, the ball will go to the left. Till I flat on the ground, the ball will definitely go to the left because of the loft angle. I then change the loft angle. This has now got 60 degrees of loft. And the sandwich, you see the ball now is going to go straight and very, very high. If I lift the golf club, the ball will now go to the left. Club on the ground face, square, ball will go straight and high. If I then move the club away from the ground, you can see quite dramatically that the golf club now is going to go left. By the time I've raised the shaft 90 degrees, the ball will be going 60 degrees to the left. There. So this is about 60 degrees of, 60 degrees of loft and it's now going 60 degrees to the left. What we have to do then is this. Let's say the board is that far above my feet. I've now got to turn round that far. Yes, that far. So the face is now pointing straight even though I'm not. If I then swing backwards and forwards when the club hits the ball, the ball will go straight even though your swing is going a long way to the right. It takes a lot of care sometimes to aim that far to the right. The more loft, the more the ball goes to the left, the more you have to aim to the right. Six down, straight. Now going to the left, I then got to turn around that far to make the ball go straight. I don't know of a chart, maybe there is one somewhere, that will tell you how far to the left the clubs will hit the ball with loss from zero up to 60 degrees and with the other added complication, the ball could be two inches above your feet, six inches, 12 inches, sometimes even three or four feet. There isn't a chart, so you need to go onto a practice ground or on the golf course if you can and experiment having the ball above your feet and see how far the ball goes to the left. This DVD isn't about changing your swing dramatically, it's simply explaining to you that 
the ball will go to the left. So don't, on the course, try and play shots you haven't played before, and do try and practice with all of the clubs in the bag and see how far they go left, and then you'll have some idea on the golf course what to do. Straight, left, turn round. Long way, long way round, but the ball will still goes straight. Swing back, swing through, and it will go straight. I hope that let you understand why the ball will go to the left and it will go to the left if the ball is above your feet please experiment with various clubs see how far it will go to the left with the various clubs and then on the golf course you'll have some better idea how far to the right you need to aim this might save you one shot every two or three rounds if you play on a flat golf course and some courses are very flat then this won't apply to you but if you're playing on a course which is pretty hilly, then it will apply to you. So you still need to practice these shots in case you have the shot to play. I hope you understand all that and it will improve your golf. And thank you very much for listening. Thank you.